Pokemon, a franchise that we all know and love, but how well do you know it exactly? Here I have some facts and trivia that you may not have known before watching this video, which is why we are here today with Pokemon Facts and Trivia. Let's go! Fact number one, Tortuga. The main thing that really sticks out about Pokemon Gold and Silver and the Johto region is that it's the only region that does not have its own set of fossil Pokemon. However, like the other regions, it was originally supposed to have its own set of Pokemon. One Pokemon was never discovered and never leaked, so I don't have that Pokemon. However, the other Pokemon was supposed to be Tortuga. Tortuga was scrapped alongside with the fossil idea from Generation 2. However, Tortuga, unlike the other Pokemon, was later redesigned and released in Generation 5. Fact number 2, Team Plasma. Team Plasma's shield logo resembles a Kirao, which is a symbol of Jesus' crucifixion on the cross, and it is also his status of Christ. Another thing about the name Plasma is it is not just a random name the Game Freak came up with, it is also the combination of fire and electricity, the two main types of Zekrom and Reshiram. One more thing, Plasma is also the state of atoms which are being separated, which is similar to the ideology that Pokemon and people need to be separated. Fact number three, Wobbuffet. Now we all know that Wobbuffet is based off of a punching bag, the way that you hit it and then it comes back at you at double the damage. However, you probably didn't know that Wobbuffet is based off of the late Japanese comedian Sanpi Hayashiya. However you pronounce that. Who was known for touching his forehead whenever he used his trademark statement, similar to how Wobbuffet does whenever he's in a battle. Another thing, our buddy Wobbuffet is banned from several Generation 5 tournaments, considering the fact that if two Wobbuffets are facing each other, the battle will become endless. Fact number four, Cries. Due to the Game Boy's low quality sound system, the producers of Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green had to use several of the same cries for different Pokemon. In fact, there were 37 cries among the original 151 Pokemon, which is why so many cries sound exactly the same. In fact, Charizard and Rhyhorn have the exact same cry. The same goes for Poliwag and Ditto. The strange thing is, none of them are even related, except for the fact that Ditto can transform in any of them. And wait, one more thing! The Pokemon Haunter has used three different cries throughout its lifetime. In Generation 1, Haunter had a really weird cry with a jingling noise in the background. In Generation 2, its cry was modified to sound more like the one that we hear today, however it still had the jingling noise in the background. Starting in Generation 3, it's using its modern day cry. It is unknown why its cry was changed so many times. Fact number 5, Trainer's Pokemon. Now I think we've all had that moment where we stop and think, what the heck happened to Lance's Dragonite between the events in Generation 1 and Generation 2? When you face Lance when he's part of the Elite Four in Pokemon Red and Blue, he has a level 62 Dragonite. However, three years later when he's the champion in Gold and Silver, his Dragonite is level 50? Even weirder than that, when you fight alongside him at Team Rocket's hideout in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, his Dragonite is even lower at level 40. It shouldn't even have evolved yet. Furthermore, Getsus' Hydreigon, as well as his, as his other Pokemon, Pokemon Black and White 2, have gone down two levels, unless you're playing in challenge mode where they go up two levels. In addition, Getsus' Hydreigon is obviously underleveled because it does not evolve until level 64. And last but not least, N's Pokemon contradict themselves from Pokemon Black and White to Black 2 and White 2. For example, his Timber has Guts instead of Sheer Force, and his Purloin has Limber instead of Unburden. It's time for a bonus fact. Pokemon X and Y, the upcoming 6th generation Pokemon games that are set to release in October, are titled after male and female chromosomes, X and Y. In addition, if you look at the Japanese logo, the accent mark over the E is replaced with a DNA strand. Could this be a plot hint? Who knows? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. 